Hi, Baxter. Where's your mommy? <laughs> Do you know it's Mama's Day? <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark, and uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Uh, and, of course, happy Mother's Day to my mother. Uh, so today we're uh, going to uh, go around and check out on all of our animals. Um, one that, um, one change from last week uh, is Mimi. So Mimi the pig came in. Uh, she ended up uh, leaving uh, after a few days or after a day and a half or two uh, because she kind of fell into a little bit of a depression. Uh, she was here while her owners could rearrange some things at their farm. Uh, she was uh, expected to be here longer than she was, uh, but she uh, got depressed. Uh, so she was out, she was hanging out in the uh, in the pile over there, she wasn't doing a whole lot, and she was starting to get snappy at other animals. Uh, she also snapped at Tara during feeding. Uh, so we kind of assessed the situation and we thought, well, we could move her down into one of our isolation pens, uh, but that's going to be pretty much the same as what uh, her owners would have uh, done. Uh, and the whole reason, or one of the reasons why she came here uh, was to get some hands on. Uh, so she was, uh, as, as soon as her owner came back and called her name, she jumped up very excited. Uh, so there's a little bit of depression there. Uh, we tried it, didn't quite work out, uh, and she's back uh, at home with, uh, with her mom. Happy Mother's Day, Blackie. These are Blackie's two kids. We'll do a little kid update. Uh, so that is Bonnie, the little girl, and Clyde, the little boy. Uh, so those are those two. Then we move over to Coco. And we've already seen little Dexter here. Hi, Dexter. <laughs> Hi, bud. Oh, you want your scratch? The head, oh. It's just like teething, right between the horns. Oh, you're gonna fight me? Are you gonna fight me? Are you gonna fight me? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, going for, oh, no. I thought she was gonna go for a little food. Um, so that is Dexter. And then, of course, we have Shelby over here. Shelby, Shelby, <laughs> Shelby's her little girl. Uh, and then we have, what are you doing back there, Petunia? Are you getting the good stuff? Are you getting the good stuff? <laughs> we have Petunia and her two kids. Nope, oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's one. And the other one is actually over by the building here. Uh, so this one here is the little boy. Oh, oh. They've been starting to do some pretty good jumping and uh, we've got this little play area set up over here. Uh, so the one on the right is the little female and the one on the left is the male. No names for these guys quite yet. Um, we've thought of a few different names. I think Caramel obviously came up, which is a, a, a common name for this color. Uh, and uh, maybe Peanut. Um, but. Uh, we, uh, we haven't settled on anything quite yet. Uh, now we got the new kids, the new kids on the block, which are fitting in very nicely. So this is Toby, and we have Charlotte, and we have Dwight, <laughs> sitting there chewing their cud. And Sheldon, hi bud, Sheldon. Hi, what are you doing? You're such a silly boy. <laughs> uh, and the sheeps. Well, one anyway. <laughs> uh, Flora. Hi, Flora. She's just chewing her cut in here too. Uh, so it's uh, so she came in uh, a few weeks back. Uh, she may be going back to her original owner. Uh, we'll see what happens. She had lost her mate. Uh, we were thinking about sending George along with her. Hey, but she is, uh, she's very friendly. Uh, and of course, George and Moira are uh, back over in this area here. Moira, 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 you get something caught in your mouth? What are you chewing on? 
really having a hard time. <laughs> and George. George. Hi, bud. Yeah, you could use a shearing. Uh, so we will be shearing these guys in June. Uh, so Flora's already sheared. Uh, and uh, uh, George is basically a year old. And then who do we have over here? We have Hazel. Hi, Hazel. They're in eating mode, so they're not, uh, they're not too excited to be, uh, <laughs> to have, uh, have people wandering around. Uh, and Holly, and then we have uh, Billy Jean over there. Oh, there's the feeding. It's not gonna be long now until these guys get to be such a size uh, that they're gonna lift their mama right off the back end. <laughs> oh, pressure's relieved. That's enough. It is awfully windy today. Uh, but I guess the, uh, the good thing is we haven't been getting the snow uh, that's been happening elsewhere. Uh, so there's been record-breaking snowfall as of this date. Uh, probably about a foot of snow in uh, the other side of the province and in southern Ontario. Uh, they've also gotten quite a bit of the sticky snow. We have been getting some colder temperatures, but uh, no precipitation. Okay, so we got the ducks all hanging out by the pond. Uh, we did put some fish in the pond last year, uh, just some feeder fish. We were looking for catfish to put in, uh, but uh, we couldn't acquire any. Uh, now, we're not sure how many are left in the pond. Uh, we did see some that were floating to the surface, actually embedded in some of the ice. Uh, and what was interesting was the, uh, the ducks, especially the Muscovies, uh, they were scooping them up and, uh, and eating them whole. Uh, so they were finishing, uh, finishing off, so a good food source for the ducks. Uh, now they're just kind of hanging out. Everybody seems to be just hanging out. Look at this. Lazy afternoon. So we have Tinker over there, Bronwyn and Turbo. And you can see how fluffy Turbo is. Hey, bud. Yes. You're quite the fluffy sheep. Ah, <laughs> uh, we have the pigs. Yes, I won't get too close. You guys like your space. Especially Petey. Petey can be a little crumpy. <laughs> uh, and Hannibal. <laughs> hey, bud. Uh, so nobody else is in here. Uh, everybody's outside. Uh, the pigeons. Uh, we're only down to about a dozen pigeons. Uh, they're, uh, we, we let them out in the yard last fall and they've been kind of hanging around in here, uh, up into this area, nesting, fighting. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's a nest being made up there. Uh, there is a nest up on top of the air conditioning there. And Petey's decided to uh, change it up. Uh, he's just fluffing up a bed. Yeah. Oh, did those sheeps mess it up for you? Well, that didn't work. How, how's it going, Hugo? Hi, Hugo. Hi. Yes, hi. Oh, boy. <laughs> so Hugo was inside. Uh, and since he's fixed, once he was done his uh, quarantine, uh, he came out here. Uh, and there's a, uh, a lop that is out here. So it's just the two of them. It's a female lop that's out here. Uh, so they're uh, hanging out together. They were just up on here, but then, of course, she bolted as soon as I came in. I guess she had better places to be, didn't she? Uh, so he is a, uh, a standard Rex, uh, and the Rex breed is very plush. Uh, there are mini Rex, which are uh, a little bit smaller, uh, probably about a... Uh, three-quarters the size, half to three-quarters the size. I was just up front and I couldn't see Billy and Carl, uh, so they're obviously probably up towards the end of the driveway. Uh, maybe I'll check in to see if they're uh, any closer when I head back. I'm just heading back to uh, find the alpaca and the ponies, um, and I thought I would talk about our garden. Uh, so last year we had uh, bought a bunch of shelving from 
Uh, it was the Hudson's Bay store. They were closing one of their stores and we bought all this racking. And well, we've used some of it and, and we sold off some of it. We've basically kind of broke even as to what we paid and what we sold it for. Uh, so the rest of it is kind of, uh, well, make something out of it. <laughs> so Tara wants to build a greenhouse. Uh, so here is our hay bale, uh, hay bale garden. And this is what we built this morning. Ow! Uh, there is electric. <laughs> there is electric fencing that runs along here. I got a little bit too close to it, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll just stay back a bit. I completely forgot about that. Uh, interestingly, this is uh, a neat way to set it up. Uh, not so much for in here, uh, predatorial fencing. So you can hook up this type of uh, fencing and then you can run some electric wires down along the outside of it just as an extra added precaution. The only reason why we have it in here is because our electric fence charger is in that box right there. Uh, and this is really the only way to go around uh, and to tie it into the system. Uh, so that's why that's there. All right, I'll, uh, I'll stay back a little bit. Uh, so this is what we built uh, earlier today. Uh, now this was two pieces. So there's a piece, this is one piece, and we've actually made a cut right there on the corner, uh, six feet up, uh, and then we've put these brackets in place. So we've got these two brackets, they're 12 feet long, uh, cut them in half, bent them over, and then put some supports in there. So these are the first two, and they're two feet wide, uh, so we're going to keep on. we got a whole bunch of these. You can uh, see there's some more down here on the ground. Uh, we wanted to get one up and in place and then uh, figure out how we're going to secure them and then mount them to each other uh, to kind of go along this area here to have this in, uh, in a greenhouse. Now the goats and sheep do an excellent job at clearing all the underbrush. Uh, but of course it leaves all this deadfall uh, out here. We have cleared about half of the property, well, uh, maybe a quarter of the property, quarter of the fenced-in area. Uh, back over in that area there, uh, there are no deadfall. Um, but of course to, to clean up, what is it, about eight acres of fenced-in area, uh, it can take some time. Uh, so this is a shelter we built, ooh, three four years ago, um, we ran a kids group called Trackers. Uh, and it's kind of like Scouts, uh, but uh, we find that uh, nowadays, uh, Scouts and Beavers uh, is basically you go into the basement of a church and you do crafts. So we wanted to do something outside. Uh, so of course, this was one of the things that we did. Uh, we built a neat little structure. There was another class where it was rainy and cold and snowy or sleet or whatever it was. Uh, so we did do some sign making and, and the kids uh, made signs with all their names on it. So, oh, there it is there. Trackers 2016. All right, so it was uh, four four years ago. Ah, it was close. Uh, so we're uh, back in the, uh, what, the south, southwest corner of the property here. Uh, and this seems to be where everybody's kind of hanging out here. Now uh, this is one of their more favorite areas. Uh, Paula! Paula! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Paula! You don't care? <laughs> so if you didn't know, uh, Marley, which is over there, uh, is Paula's son. Uh, and they came in, all three of them came in three years, I guess it was about three years ago. And um, they've, we've sheared them, well actually it would have been two years ago, because we've sheared them two years ago. Uh, that was when they came in. Uh, and uh, they're going to be due for another shearing. We didn't want to shear them last year, just because their wool wasn't quite as uh, thick as we wanted it to be. It appears that uh, our, uh, our alpacas here, I'm not sure if this is the same with all alpacas, but these guys could have been partial because of the condition they were in when they came in, uh, but their wool growth is about half the rate uh, as our sheep are. So we'll have to be, uh, we'll have to see what happens next year when, uh, when June rolls around and to see uh, if they are ready for shearing. Okay, we got Levi. Levi is not a mom, but Levi's dad. What are you finding, bud? Anything good? Are you finding anything good? 
<laughs> so uh, Meadow, which is over there. Meadow! Hey! Meadow! Nah, she's eating. And Daisy. Uh, so Meadow is uh, Levi's daughter. So his, um, uh, his mate, her mother, uh, came in a couple years ago um, with Levi. The owners thought that he couldn't reach, so they could be all in together and it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but with nature, where there's a will, there is a way. And of course, uh, he did manage to become the father to, uh, to Little Willow. Uh, and then she was born here a couple years ago. Uh, actually, it would have been last spring. Um, she was born here on the farm. My animal actors don't seem to be uh, pulling their weight around here. I guess it's sleeping time and feeding time. I picked a really bad time to come out into the yard and, and check on the animals. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, the greenhouse. Welcome. <laughs> so these are the lengths here, uh, and these are uh, generally in the upright position, and they're two feet apart, and then they have shelves that go in. Uh, so we've decided that uh, we're gonna do something a little bit differently. And uh, these are the brackets. Here are braces uh, that usually hold them two feet apart. So we've kind of put them on an angle. This one's kind of set up to figure out what we need to do. I think we've got the system figured out. Uh, we want to um, basically uh, do a little tack weld on each, uh, each bracket there just to make sure that it's held in place. Uh, and then do something up top here uh, to where we can connect them. Uh, and then Polly will go over top of it. The biggest concern, of course, is to make sure that any kind of wind uh, doesn't pick it up. Uh, but we should be okay here because we've got the deck. Uh, the prevailing winds come from the northwest, which is across this way. Uh, so this is kind of behind it. Uh, we're going to have the straw, straw bales on each side of that end. And then I think we're going to mount this end to the deck over here. Uh, so this uh, has dirt on it. We, uh, we planted here last year dirt and some alpaca and rabbit poop in there. Uh, now, of course, last year wasn't a great success because we rescued a deer and we ended up putting the deer in our garden. <laughs> so we did get some stuff out of it, uh, but not a whole lot. I was amazed on how many potatoes we got out uh, because the little deer loved potato leaves. Uh, and the potatoes were actually planted over in this area here. Uh, we have some soil built up here uh, and then uh, planted in the potatoes there. Uh, Tara may extend it a little bit further uh, just to have a little bit bigger area. Uh, and that is the, uh, the outside garden. We'll go in and we'll have a look at our grow room. So we are now in the house and behind me, you'll see these doors here. Uh, we used to do fostering. Uh, so there's one, two, three doors for bedrooms and then there's a bathroom down there. Uh, now what we've done is we've converted one of the bedrooms into a plant room. Uh, so this is where the plants are currently residing. Uh, now for lighting, we've had these lights here. Uh, these are uh, fluorescent tubes that we picked up a couple years ago. Uh, so we don't have a lot of lights, of course. Uh, there's that, and we were looking for some kind of lighting option, and I decided, well, why not use the old yard light? Uh, so I've got a second yard light, and that's an LED. Uh, so it's, uh, I don't know, it's about a 60 watt LED light and it puts out about 175 to 200 watts of light. So lots of light. So I thought, oh, okay, well, we'll just move the panels over and we'll screw it right to the, uh, the floor joist. Uh, so this is um, tomatoes and uh, there is uh, peppers. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff in here that we're growing. Uh, and then there's some just some regular house plants and such as well. Uh, so it uh, looks like we've got some aloe vera in here and uh, some cactuses, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, so we will be planting some of the uh, seeds very shortly that you can plant out before frost. Uh, so that's probably going to be in the next week or so. Uh, now, if you are setting up to grow inside your house, you do want to make sure you have a deep humidifier. So me being a certified mold inspector, I know all about what causes mold. Uh, and this is going to be your friend if you have uh, an indoor room. You want to make sure you have lots of air movement. Uh, you want to set your dehumidifier in the summertime or when the temperature is above 
freezing to 45%, uh, and then 35% uh, otherwise in the winter time. Make sure that you don't close off your furnace vents and you turn your furnace fan to the on position uh, to make sure you have good air movement uh, and of course not storing anything up against exterior walls. So that is it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. My uh, actors, uh, animal actors, are slacking a little bit, but uh, we'll, uh, probably because of how cold it is. It's beautiful and sunny, but it's cold, and a lot of them are just hanging around. Uh, so anyway, I wish all of you mothers a happy Mother's Day, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.